One of the more unique things about Steinberg software, and Cubase is included in that, is the inclusion and use of the USB E licensor. It's that little flash drive looking device that either came with Cubase or that you've had uh, if you've been upgrading your versions of Cubase along the way. And it looks a lot like a USB flash drive, but it's not. A USB flash drive can contain any computer data that you want to place on it, whereas the USB E licensor is a device that holds the licenses for the software that you're using from either Steinberg or the other manufacturers of software that use the E licensor as their hardware copy protection. Most of the USB E licensors out there are this larger type of unit. However, there is a newer, smaller version of the E licensor uh, that may have come with uh, with Cubase 10 if it was your first purchase of any Steinberg software. Either way, both of these devices, they serve the same purpose, hold the license that came with Cubase. And it has to be installed in a USB port of the computer upon which you're going to be using Cubase. Now, along with the hardware USB E licensor, there is software that actually drives the hardware device. And there are some important things to know about that software. If you're on a Windows based PC, then you can type the Windows key on your computer keyboard, look in your E section and look for the E licensor control center. Or if you wanted to go to Cortana and type in e-license or something close to it, then you'll also find the e-licensor software at the top of that window. If you're on a Macintosh, you can use the go in the finder to go to your applications to find the e-licensor control center software. And that is in the e section right here. E-licensor control center will load that. Typically, it will give you an overview of what this software and the USB e licensor does. If you already know what that does, then you can turn off the always show the uh, welcome screen there. And then you're also going to get this window, the synchronize and maintenance option. And I recommend that you do this from time to time because Cubase won't do this for you when you use it. Instead, you have to launch the e licensor control center software and then perform the maintenance tasks. If for some reason you have turned off the option to always have that maintenance option appear when you load the software, you can always load the program, then click on the maintenance button right here to reveal the synchronization and maintenance window. Then you can go ahead and perform the maintenance tasks. To do the maintenance, you do need to be connected to the internet. Now, I'm not going to perform the maintenance function right now, but there are a couple of other things that you do need to know about this software, and that is that just like Cubase or any other program, it needs to be updated from time to time. So if you don't know where the website is to get the most current version, you can launch the eLicensor Control Center software, then under the Help menu, select Download Latest eLicensor Control Installer. That will launch your browser, and it will take you to the website from which you can download the most current version. You'll see that I'm using Safari on a Mac. It's going to start the download automatically and go right into my download window right here. Then you'll want to run that installer, but before you run the installer, make sure that you quit out of the most current version of the e-licensor. And if for some reason you've forgotten what the name of the software is that drives the USB e-licensor and you want to update it, you can find it from the Cubase menu if you go to the Hub menu, go to Support, and then choose Download Latest ELCC Software. That's the eLicensor Control Center Software. They just abbreviate it there so that it doesn't take up so much of that window. And that will launch your web browser, so you have to be connected to the Internet to do this. And when you do, you can go to Current Downloads and then download the most current eLicensor Control Center software either for the Macintosh or for a Windows-based computer. And next, let's talk about registering your software. 